Hi there, I just want to do uh, a little tutorial on finger picking a 12 string. Um, very often 12 strings get um, used very much as a chorus instrument with loud chords. You do see them being finger picked quite a lot. Um, I often find though when I hear them being finger picked it's quite an unsatisfactory sound because quite often it's, it's a case of finger plectrums being used or a, a pick being used but it doesn't get really as much out of a 12 string as you can get if you can just adapt a little bit of finger picking technique to the instrument. Uh, the 12 string I'm using is a rain song, it's about 13, 14 years old. Um, I think wow. they've probably improved on the original model. This is still a lovely guitar to play, but I've had to work a lot on the, um, the action, um, reducing the nut and so on and so forth to get back the playability it had when I first bought it, um, because it's certainly become quite a, a, a lot more um, of a, a battle to play it higher up the neck than it used to be. Uh, so I've just spent a little bit of time adjusting uh, the, the bridge. Um, they basically made quite a few design errors with this guitar when they first built it, and I'm sure they've probably ironed those out with their later models. Uh, but this one, um, it's, it's a nice guitar, it's got a lovely sound, but as I say, um, the, the lifetime guarantee they, they put on the instrument originally perhaps was a bit optimistic. However, uh, still a very nice instrument to play. And what I would like to do is I'd like you to uh, like to show you how an instrument like this can sound if it's just given a little bit of work, especially the work with the finger picking in the right hand. So what I'm going to do with the left hand uh, is not going to be you know, dramatic um, scales and so on and so forth. That's going to be quite basic chord work. It's what I'm doing with the right hand that gives it its really lovely, unique sound. So if you just have a listen to this, I'm just going to twist the camera so you can just see um, the guitar being played. Here we go. So there we go, that's a lot to do with what I'm doing with the right hand. Now what I'm doing with the right hand is I'm doing basically using uh, an alternating pick. And it starts with the thumb and then the ring finger and then the thumb again on the D string and then using the index finger. So I'm... The ring finger is on your E string. The, the um, index finger is on your G string. Uh, and that's very rude, but I shouldn't have said it. Here we go. Now what I'm doing also, I'm getting... So I'm doing something pretty difficult there. I am picking the G string I'm picking the third string. Um, first of all, I'm picking the, the lower third string, and then I'm picking the higher third string. And it gives this amazing belly sound. Now what I also do then, is I alternate this finger with the middle finger, so I've got this. Bit of a pinch there.
So it's that thumb, it ring, thumb, index, and then sometimes it's thumb, middle, thumb, index. So I've got I am swapping the middle with the ring finger. And that gives you that lovely sound, that lovely belly sound that, that you can get from a 12 string when you do something slightly different with it. And of course you can then start to, let me just move this camera around a little bit for you, start to vary what you're doing with the right hand as well. So you've got... And what I'm doing there, I'm doing the same type of thing. Now this time, the index finger is playing on the D string, and I'm also alternating. So you've got this. You can hear these strings are a bit naff, but you get the idea. So, lots of things you can do with a 12 string if you just work on the right hand rather than always relying on it being sort of... Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed.